All right, we are back with more subspace emissary. We are, we are now going to the ruined zoo. And it's very deserted. What on earth happened to this place? And who's this young man? Lucas. From Earthbound and... Oh, what was that other game? Mother something. Those are the only two ones that I can barely remember that he was the main character of, uh, of in. And now more bad guys appear. And a very alive statue will haunt anyone in their nightmares. But we're about to see its true form, maybe, if we survive this first. And as long as those assholes do not keep blocking our way, then we'll get a sneak peek. And I'm already taking a hell of a lot of damage in the early going. But I don't really care, it's all about survival. As long as I don't hit that, then I should be fine. Just let that do all the work. Take those guys out. Lucas. Oh yeah, you hit the switch now. But it was a bit too late. Cutting it real close. And I'm getting my ass handed to me on a platter of these guys. And he's about to fall into the water. Ah, oh, what a shame. We're not going to see his true self. But think again. He somehow re-emerges. I think he used teleport. Or whatever the hell he did. And he still takes his time. Not in any rush or anything. And in the one twig he had to get caught in. Really. But he's about to get some backup. Not right on its back. It's Ness. The fearless one. Of the two. As we're about to see here. I think he just used Psychic. And launched that green sparkle inside. Which causes the whole body to explode. A load of rubble. And there is its true form. He's called Porky. And he's the next boss. But we can't let him knock us too far off. Otherwise, it decreases our chances of taking him down. That looks really sad, though. Like an actual kid is trapped inside there. How on earth did he get somehow brainwashed? And we are taking a hell of a lot of damage. Get out of the way of the light. Still going. Damn, you bastard. Thought I could outsmart it there. But no, he faked me out first. Get over to his left. Just keep attacking the body. I don't care. We're that close. And the one kick which barely even hit the thing secured our victory. Now that he's done and gone. Really? This fat kit again? Can't he stay out of anyone's business and mind his own? And now he's targeting Ness. And apparently that arrow gun can shoot more than one time. Now that that's really threatening to find out. He targeted Lucas. But Ness sacrificed himself. And now he's the trophy himself. And that's a creepy face to get up close and personal to. And 
Lucas, where are you going? You're just abandoning your friend who just risked his own life for you? And leave him in the hands of that madman for his own amusement? Wow. But look who we bump into. It's Pokemon Trainer. As more of these assholes begin to appear. And Red's got a big smile on his face. With a lot of confidence. He unleashes Squirtle. And there they are. Let's begin. Here we go. And you can only play as Squirtle until we capture three more Pokemon later down. But let's see what he can do. Watch the, um, Auroros. I can barely get them right at the moment. Okay, take out more of the primids. Just to make sure he doesn't follow me. Going up. Only to have those um, pains in the asses come out of nowhere off screen. Well, we got one of them. Let's move on. Oh god. It's the flows. These guys are creepy as fuck. Not only can they regenerate health, but they have a serious deadly eye attack. Which can do an equal amount of damage, so you want to get rid of them as quick as possible without letting them regenerate. And we got a two for one there. Now that we're past that, on to the next lot of bad guys. Just kick them in the spike or just let them do it themselves. And free at once. This is not good. Don't let them attack. Oh, this is not going to end well. Uh, more keep coming. No, 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 no. I'm not having this. You are going to die and enjoy it. Perished. And we are good for the time being. And now we're in some underground passageway. By Tan. Very creepy one-eyed TV balls. <laughs> yeah, that's my best info to describe about them. But we can't let them regenerate. You know, create more. Otherwise, it's going to go on endlessly. I thought he was going to shock me there. And we got a brand new um, song we can hear. That's providing we get through this first. I really wanted to see Pokemon Trainer go in the door with him. Yeah, it's a shame they didn't include that. Let's see, who am I going to turn into next? Which had very little effect. Probably because of its armor, and he killed me. Brilliant. Oh, at least we skip ahead. No. You are not going to make my life miserable. Nice. Now we're rolling. And I should have just let him fall on the spikes. Let's regenerate. Let's recover our health. Bounce up. And I kind of said that this lot was going to show. Take out the fire ones first. Like so. 
Yeah, eat my flame. And knocks one completely off the edge. And forces the other one to commit suicide. And over those points. And I'm not going to fall here. And we did it. As we killed him. As the screen faded to black. And now he's recalled Squirtle. For another battle sometime soon. He says, thanks for the assist. Now I'm going to go it alone. But Lucas has other plans and he's going to join them. Looks like we got another pairing. And look, we've got a creepy flow trophy. Mouser from Super Mario Bros. 2. Bonkers. Squeak Squad theme. I've never heard of that. I'm curious to see what game that includes in. But now, we are heading to the Battlefield Fortress. And this kind of looks like Fire Emblem related. As far as the catapults and deserted area looks like. Until two more robs appear with another subspace bomb. And I actually feel really bad for them because I think they're forced to do this against their will. I mean, of course they're robots, but they should be able to live their own lives and not be controlled by some evil ancient minister. Huh. But they have no choice. And there's Moth, who's surveying what is going on. And speaking of... We're going to have a bit more fun. Not at our own expense this time around. And they're just going to follow the light. And invade our fortress. And that was really embarrassing getting hit by the first one. Yeah, I don't need a weapon when I've already got a sword. And I'm just having my way with them. Or maybe it's the other way around at the moment. Oh, I can't hit the bloody bastards. You have such a small reach. You have to get in real close to them. In order to get any good hits. But now we go real fast, because we're mega. And these are the worst kinds. Our might. They hit you once, then twice, and then launch you a third time. Like that. No, I didn't want a small. I want it to be big. And he's really pushing me back. Stop it. That kind of really slowed down what I had going there. I don't care, just go. Into the door. And more of these flaming jakes. Now we're going to go to the opposite side and collect which trophy this will be. Who I could not recognize. Because I'm only playing the ones that I've very, been very familiar with over the years. Eat my blade. Going up here. Hey. We're having none of that today. One, a two, and to cap that off, quick, get him before he gets those things out again. Okay, no, still alive. 
But that's probably not going to last longer when we get through here. Because now that we are outside... That's good. You did knock us back. Just keep... Just keep getting them from when we land. And I want to activate this. But Ma, if you're not cooperating with me... And that turned out to be a bad idea. And I'm over 200% damage. One fleet of blow and I'm out of here. Yeah. Even those little house are not going to help me. And those cloud guys are back. I didn't think that that was going to have enough impact. Now, as far as their armor goes... How are we still in it? I have no answer to give right now. But I'll take it. And I think we're about to go into the next cutscene. As we continue to observe and study the substance void and then here comes Meta Knight out of nowhere of course from the Kirby series and now they're gonna go sword for sword until those um oh, whatever you know you get the point and they think they're going to surround us. And now they're going to team up. To remove them. So we can venture on. And in my personal opinion. Meta Knight is not really one of my favourites to choose from. I definitely prefer Marth slightly more. And I'm going to get rid of the ones. The one that shoot pistol fires. I will not be killed like that. And if you ever let me out, then I can just slice you. And I can't reach. So I had to use the platform for a bit more height. Thank goodness I was not in that explosion. Otherwise it would have been bye-bye Marth. But so far we're doing really well. But what does I jinx it? At this point we need anything. Whoa, thanks for actually hitting me. Until that shit happens. Now we have to do it with Meta Knight. Give me the health. Three more. And he's the last one. And there is the coup de grace. And as we... Now, on to part three of this level. Shoot and a miss. Always glad to get in on the action. And hello, bomb. And I thought he was wasn't dead just yet. And I accidentally set off the bomb. Thankfully I didn't get caught in. No, I was trying to dodge. And I outsmarted him. Which turned out to be very good. And an extra life. 
We're back in good shape, and here comes more auto scrolling. Let's go, let's go. That was a Teradol trophy. And we somehow didn't get killed off screen there. Considering how tight it was. No. If you kill me for below 100, I am gonna wrap those, whatever they are, around your whole body. Which I'm gonna do right now. But just not in this game. Because I don't have the power um, to make that choice. Seriously, they do not want to play fair. You know what? I'm going to take you out. And then I'm going to launch that bomb. Or did he just go off screen? He did. What a jackass. Well, that kind of slightly worked. Now this is going to get interesting. But so far, showed incredible resiliency. That's it, come to my hammer. No, I was hoping you wouldn't turn away. And he speared me right in the chest. And one more. Didn't even let him get one in. Now that we are barely still standing after that. Underground. We fall straight into this little minecart car and frankly we don't take any hit points from that and we jump out what what are those three colorful things whoa Latios and Latias two more legendary Pokemon I think we saw in one of the movies I think it was Pokemon Heroes. I'll have to look it up um, on the wiki. Because that's my best guess, and that's probably the only time they made an appearance. Although, one of them, I think, appeared in the 13th season of the series. At least that's what my memory can tell me. Please be health. And wish granted, we're now back in it. And this is a gimmick almost from Donkey Kong Country 2 on one of the roller coaster levels. But this one, we can just sit back and let this do all the work for like 10 seconds. La da dee da da. Oh, way to ruin the moment. 60,000 points. And we made it. Now we're going after him. Swing and a miss. And I, he got one of his wings there. And there's Ike. Who literally sends him out of control. No doubt I'm going to pick him first. Then Mife. And Meta Knight's going to be our backup. More power to it. And thank you for killing yourself by stupidly going into the detonating bomb. Oh, close. I was just an inch off. Second throw was a success. You shall feel the wrath. 
or not. I really thought I could still come back on screen. Oh, please. Please kill yourself. Please set it off. <laughs> I lured you straight in. And you fell for it. Oh no. Nag and Gog. They can um, get bigger every two times. Up until then, when they get to the red body. Is that it? No. More? How long does this one last? Oh, for fuck's sake. No. And I kind of threw it the wrong way. Man, it's almost like it's endless. Is there ever going to be any light? Oh, talk about speaking straight after. And please tell me that is the end of the stage, finally. It is. Man. That was some challenge so far. And look at all these cool trophies we got. Jody Summer, Saw Primit, Aroda, Totodile, Onions, Latios and Latios, I was right. And Bucket. Oh, but one more cutscene first. It's Mario's brother, Luigi. And he's somehow afraid of this little guy. But here's another one. Oh, I know whose foot stomp that is. But who the heck do they think they are? Sending Luigi into the air and then converting him into a trophy somehow. It's Kirby's nemesis, King DDD. And why did he just slap him? When he can't even feel a goddamn thing. And there's you know who. He thinks he's gonna add Luigi to his list. But none of those guys have anything to do with it. And they all gang up on him. There's a thief going on. They're stealing his cart. And as they make a hasty retreat and follow him. Yeah, you kind of deserve that. After what you've put everyone else through. But I'm going to get my breath back and be ready next time when we encounter the forest in part four. So I will catch you in that until then. This is me signing off. Catch you next time. Take it easy.